Binada, Binada, Cebinada, Binada. Thank you, sir. We're talking of appreciation and love. We want to thank. When I am here to launch the Sankal Patra, we 
आपकी पार्टी होगी विच टॉक्स अबाउट द रिपोर्ट कार्ड नो अदर पोलिटिकल पार्टी हैव यू सीन कांग्रेस कमिंग आउट एंड टॉकिंग अबाउट वॉट दे हैव डन इन द पास्ट हैव यू सीन एवर दैट कांग्रेस पार्टी टॉक्स दैट वॉट दे हैव सेट दे हैव नो दे डोंट डू बट इट इज एन डी पी पी एंड बीजेपी विच बिलीव इन रिपोर्ट कार्ड पॉलिटिक्स एंड दिस वी हैव लर्न फ्रॉम प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी जी वी हैव लर्न फ्रॉम हिज स्टाइल ऑफ फंक्शनिंग वेर ही हैज चेंज द पोलिटिकल कल्चर ऑफ द कंट्री बाय रिमेंबरिंग एंड मेकिंग पीपल रिमेंबर वॉट वी हैड सेट वी हैव डन एंड वेन आई एम रिलीजिंग द विजन डॉक्यूमेंट ऑफ टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री I would also like to make you remember about the vision document which we had presented in 2018. No political party dares to be make people remember what they had said five years back. But we have got their the guts and we have got the the uh, politics of report card where we come out what we had said we have done. So when I talk about what we said we have delivered. and when i say so we had established a software technology park in kohima and 18130 square feet of built up space 2484 square feet of raw incubation space 114 plug and play seats and state of the art incubation space so we have software technology park in kohima in place multi level car parking in kohima 31,021 lakh crores have been spent on this. The same way, we have constructed five mega volt ampere substation at Chie Fo Bauzo, and rupee 14.14 crore, 33 lakh has been spent on them. The reconstruction of the Kohima supermarket has been done at the cost of 12 crore. In process of constructing. we are in the process of constructing three hydro electric projects in the state of nagaland and started the construction of 20 megawatt greenfield solar power plant spread about 120 acres of land and which will generate 28 million units of power annually we have shared the proposal with the center for setting up of the 12 air strips in nagaland when i was talking at the center there we had we had said that the government of india has shared the proposal of 12 air strips to come in nagaland now realize when these 12 air strips are going to come to nagaland what type of potential tourism you will have in nagaland that you should understand and this is one of the very important major decisions which we have taken central ministry has granted approval for the water aerodrome project at doyam doyam hydro project for sea plane service under regional connectivity ulan this has been a very major step you see you have sea plane landing here and for that the the doyam hydro project sea plane service will be pushed into service and the central ministry has granted the approval for that so when the rio ministry comes we will initiate this matter and go forward all this i have said was what we had promised but now i am talking about which we had not promised but we have done it we had never said that we will do it but we have done it and again i will say tell me any political party which has got to say that what they said they did and what they did not say they did it but we can say i can share with you the 3235 crore of highways in nagaland projects have been sanctioned earlier 55 works of length of 1063 km at the cost of rupees 11 crore 711 lakh crore was approved 11711 crores have been approved the same way 667 km have been added in the national highway network in nagaland and the increase and in the growth is about 76% 82 km broad gauge railway route from dhanseri 
in Assam to Jusba, Jubza, Jubza in Kohima has been established. The National Highway Network State today has been extended from 880.68 kilometers to 1547 kilometers. If I talk about the Dimapur Railway Station, which was inaugurated in 1933, more than 100 years, Dimapur Railway Station. But more than 100 years later, it was under the Narendra Modi Ji's regime that you have Shokubi as the railway station. If I talk about the health infrastructure, Ayush Health Sector is coming to Nagaland. Ayush Hospital is coming, is being inaugurated in Kohima. Ayurvedic College will be developed of 70 crores at long length. And a new medical <coughs> college will be opened in a distant area of one district. So this is what we have not committed. But we have given. We didn't say that we will give you a medical college. We didn't say that we will be giving you an Ayush institution. We didn't say that we will be giving you an Ayurveda institution. But all this has been given. And my, I would request my media person, friends, to please illustrate that how BJP works. And now, when I talk about the vision of 2023, this vision, I would like to share with you that we will establish a dedicated Nagaland Cultural Research Fund of 1,000 crore rupees. That is why I said that we are going to promote the culture of Naga people. We are going to promote the traditions. And so we will promote research, protection, conservation of language, culture of all the communities of Naga communities. The same way, the Saramati highest peak in Nagaland, we will start cultural university at Kifaya as Saramati and 500 crore rupees will be focused on imparting knowledge and research on the historic Naga culture, language, agriculture, folk music and dance, food and habitation practices. We will invest 100 crore rupees to promote and expand the scope of all major tribal festivals. You see, this is a land of festivals. This is a land of festivals. So we are going to spend 100 crore rupees to see to it, to promote the, the tribal festivals here. For good governance, we will ensure this is a very important step in administration. And we all know that for transparent administration, we will ensure 100% direct benefit transfer coverage for all government schemes in Nagaland and to avoid any leakage. For tourism, we will introduce Nagaland Tourism Skill Mission to provide training and employment opportunities to 50,000 local youth. In agriculture, we will increase financial assistance under the Prime Pradhan Mantri Kisan Samman Scheme and the Pradhan Mantri Kisan Samman Scheme where we are getting by Prime Minister Modi 6,000 per annum. Mr. Rio and Patel will add 2,000 rupees annually per year in this Kisan Samman Scheme. The same way, the Agri Infrastructure Mission, 500 crores to develop the holistic agricultural infrastructure of collection, primary processing centers. You see, in agriculture, you need an agricultural infrastructure. And for agricultural infrastructure, you need a holistic approach. And for that, you need a processing center, you need a center cold storage, you need linkage, you need linkage with the mandis, with the, with the marketing place. So all this has to be taken care. And we will initiate Nagaland Horticulture Mission and rupees 100 crore will be spent on this to ensure cold storage facilities at the block level and farm to market facilities of horticulture, which I was talking about the infrastructure. For women welfare, we will introduce Nidonuo Angamu 
women welfare scheme and we will be providing a bond of 50000 rupees on the birth of a girl child in nagaland for the protection for the protection the same way we will provide free of cost quality education to all female students from kindergarten kg kg to pg post graduation that will be we will 200 crores to establish a dedicated department for mother and child care in all district hospitals here i would like to share with you that we are committed the right from the day the mother conceives a child from that very day all type of medical tests free delivery free institutional delivery free transportation to the institution and back to from the hospital any complications taking place to be taken care by the government and after that in next two years all types of 12 types of immunization program will be taken care by the government of nagaland this is what i want this is the safety in your private boy and the same way we will invest 200 crores to establish dedicated department of mother and child care in all districts we will youth empowerment we will provide 2 lakh self employment opportunities in the next 5 years software and technology park in kohima agro processing textile msmes and tourism these areas will be developed we will introduce dr tali mirain eo sports scholarship and the recognizing and aspiring sports persons will be given and we will provide them a need based financial assistance of up to 5 lakh rupees we will provide a digital tablets to all meritorious students of class 10th and 12th we will work in conjunction with the union ministry of education to set up premier institutions like indian institute of technology indian institute of management and indian institute for scientific education research in nagaland we will establish imco gliba eo state university to improve the access and quality of higher education for boosting health care we will have double the per family annual insurance cap of ayushman bharat ayushman bharat at this point of time we are giving financial cover of 5 lakh rupees annually this will be enhanced by the government of nagaland under the leadership of rio to 10 lakh rupees we are going to do for we will ensure timely commissioning of koima mon koima and mon medical colleges and 500 crores to double the number of the beds in the government institutions to expand the presence of the day care clinics and the state for we will also develop a nagaland state cancer prevention treatment policy and we will be investing 400 crores to set up super specialty cancer hospital and research center at zunhe boto we will expedite the operationalization of special economic zone in dimapur we will invest an amount of 500 crores to provide collateral free loans up to 10 lakh to msmes and entrepreneurs with 100% credit guarantee scheme so for the msmes we are going to support one prime one product scheme will also be encouraged we will continue building all weather roads for village connectivity under pradhan mantri gramin sadak yojana and more than 10000 crore rupees work project will be executed <laughs> we will continue with the network of our uh, connect with koima by 2024 as i said we will expand the airways facilities here i would also like to share with you that we will establish and this is very important for the media people we will establish an eastern nagaland development board for holistic development of the region 
we will provide a special package for the development of the Eastern Nagaland. And we will work towards provisioning the budget in proportion to the population of the Eastern Nagaland people. And we will provide free rice and wheat monthly, 5 kg of black chickpeas, 1 liter of mustard oil per family quarterly at subsidized rate and PDS beneficiary. Here, in the end, I would also like to share that the talk with the Eastern Nagaland people, the leaders of the Eastern Nagaland people, is ongoing with the Home Minister, Sri Amit Shah. Here we commit that whatever commitment Home Minister has given to the people of Eastern Nagaland, we stand committed and we will fulfill it. But because of the code of conduct, we will not express at this point of time because we can't do it. But yes, whatever commitment Home Minister Sahab has done to the people of Nagaland, Eastern Nagaland, and whatever has been agreed upon, we will implement it in letter and spread. Friends, this is called the mainstreaming of Nagaland. <laughs> Thank you.